The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. Without going into too much detail about this book, I want to touch on some high points and talk about the character himself. Gregor Samsa is the main character in this book. He is said to have gone to bed at night as a human and then woke up the next day as a vermin or cockroach or or dung beetle, whichever. He is referred to in the book as a dung beetle towards the end, so I'm assuming that's what he is literally in the book. Now, Gregor's lifestyle before he became an insect was a traveling salesman, and it was stressful for him. And he mentions some things in the book that he didn't really like it. You know, he was a breadwinner. All the the stress was on him to provide for his family. You know, his mom and dad were older. His sister, I believe, was only 17, so she was too young to work. So it was all on Gregor. Now, the morning he woke up, he found that he couldn't roll over because, you know, he had a shell on his back. He had all these legs. So he was an insect, essentially. And when his family members would knock at the door, he couldn't respond in words. His responses were like squeaks. And they thought something was wrong and wanted to break down a door, but it was locked. So his dad said, call a locksmith. Now, meanwhile, Gregor is late for work. So his boss shows up at the house. And, you know, he's trying to talk to Gregor. Now, Gregor can't communicate. So eventually Gregor gets the door open. And his boss is just frightened to death and runs. Gregor runs after him but can't catch him. You know, he tries to explain to him, this is why I'm late for work. But, uh, you know, Gregor has to go back to his room, and the family doesn't know what to think. They know that it's Gregor. I don't know how they know, but they do. And uh, so Gregor is sent to this room, and that's where he basically stays throughout the book. Now, his sister, Gretti, tries to feed him, uh, but his his main appetite is for rotted food, and he doesn't like milk anymore either. So as a story goes by, um, Gregor becomes more of a burden on his family because he can't do anything anymore, and the family works now the mom and dad, the the young sister, and they're not liking Gregor so much. Now, there's a point in the story where Gregor's dad thinks he is trying to attack his mom, Gregor's mom, his father's wife. And so... Uh, his father throws some apples at him and one of the apples sticks into his back, into his shell. And the family lets that apple rot and that apple eventually kills Gregor. And they are relieved. They really are. They, they're happy and they, they can't wait to start a new life now that Gregor is dead because he was such a burden on them. And in a lot of ways... You have to read the story to get the nuances of this. But he was of no no value to them because he didn't have a job and he was an insect and they had to take care of him like a pet or a pet that they didn't like, didn't want. So I think this story has a lot of metaphors in it and I, and I haven't done a lot of research on the story itself. But the way I see it, Gregor was stressed because of his job, and he couldn't handle the burden anymore. 
So he just gave up. He became depressed. And the insect could just be that that part of him that was the burden. You know, let's just say he didn't literally turn into an insect. He was still who he was as a human, but depressed, couldn't get out of bed, sad. And they got sick of it. And, you know, maybe he died of starvation, let's say, in the real world. And then they were relieved that he was gone. I used to have depression really bad. And people used to be burdened by it. So that's why I see that in this story. But anyway, you should check this out. It's a classic. It's a, it's a sad story. But uh, there's a lot of lessons in it. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.